guys and today we are talking about the Australian instrument that you may have seen in a lot of movies, the didgeridoo. The, oh wait, digi-adapter? Oh, uh, that does make a little more sense. <laughs> the digi adapter yeah so there are is a big debate going across the fpv community right now which is should you have your fat sharks or should you have your dji goggles should you go digital or analog and the correct answer is both 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 is good <laughs> with these dji goggles for a nominal cost you can upgrade them to fully analog with this simple inexpensive adapter only two screws are installed it doesn't void your warranty it doesn't make any permanent modifications to the goggles it has a uh, module adapter bay for your analog module that fits right in here is an immersion rc rapid fire module fits in perfectly just like it's oem and that will allow you to run um your choice of analog antennas this is my recommendation for the best combo the vast crosshair extreme and the vast ion v2 when you attach this onto the front of your dji goggles this is now two goggles in one it is the full dji system and at the push of a button a change of the input you then switch the input from the digital signal onto this analog signal and they get away with that because dji has an video input right here all the electronics and uh, back is installed in this unit so it does sit slightly more proud than the stock unit especially on this left hand side where the module goes and then you have these cables the nice thing about this kit which is 59 dollars is that it comes with all the cabling you want to zip tie it to the top of your uh, strap holder right there so it's nice and clean this provides power to your module this provides power video signal connection it has an adapter so that this same power input powers both the goggles and the module off of the same battery and what do i like about this the most is that now you have an external barrel plug so that you don't have to keep plugging in and out of this socket right here wear it out with too many mating cycles you can do it on the side this is your side piece essentially and uh the image is great it does take a little bit of you getting used to it's a slightly different color scheme than the hto2 goggles that i have right here uh, i noticed that on a lot of cameras i run like the run cam uh, nano racer 2 or the predator v4 uh, and here, the colors look very oversaturated in the Sony OLEDs that are in these Fat Strike HDO2s. On here, the oversaturation was gone. The, color, the colors looked a little more natural. So it's up to you on which preference um, you have. But I did note that. I also noted that when I was flying the Digi Adapter, the signal looked a lot more clean. There was less interference, less static. How is that? Same quad, same VTX, Rush Tiny Tank same immersion rc rapid fire unit the exact same one i moved it over the same antennas on both why is it cleaner some people are saying that the internal electronic components the backs or whatever are cleaning up the signal even more i don't know but i did notice a slightly less grain and i noticed that in other people's reviews i was very curious if it was just the dvr that was cleaned up but no it was not so the dvr on here is improved it's better than this crummy dvr but in addition the actual signal you see in your goggles is also improved now the shape of the image is a little bit different and that's where i do still prefer the shape of the hdo2 now there's been a lot of updates on here um, because initially the pass through video pass through thing did add some latency on to what you would see so the real question is can you give it up for racing can you give it up for freestyling i tried some freestyling packs i didn't crash um, i did some power loops i did some figure eights um, so i think for most freestyle applications for micros for whoops this is going to serve you better um, i would hold out if you're a hardcore racer to see if there are some hardcore racers that are able to do this um, I have noted that there are a lot of racers in my town that are more like sportsman class that have been using this. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'll do a follow-up later. 
but there just isn't enough racing going on right now to really test this and i wanted to give you guys the news so for anybody outside of a hardcore racer you can probably go ahead and sell your fat sharks now and just have one goggle system this even with the dingy adapter if you got it on the father's day still is still cheaper than this goggle and now you have two goggles in one you have digital and analog so this is an outstanding product um, if you have the digital system it's a no-brainer to get this i do have the 12 dollar adapter that goes on the side on the way and i want to show that and give you guys some comparisons on how each of those functions so if you don't want to spend 60 dollars, there is a very inexpensive way to get the same functionality it's just not as clean looking and it hangs off to the side i do like this because you can figure configure antennas in the same way you traditionally would with the um, patch antenna pointing straight out and it looks super oem um, barbell was saying that it fits on there super tight that was actually a little gripe of mine he was using the tbs uh, fusion module that one does look like it fits perfectly as you can see the rapid fire kind of hangs off and I, it actually fits in here very snugly and this is an awesome option what do you think in the comments guys if you do have the digital system you don't have to give up analog this is perfectly serviceable for the vast majority of us out there i'd be perfectly confident freestyling with this i'd be perfectly confident confident flying whoops twigs three inch four inch micros uh it's only the hardcore races that are probably going to hang on to these suckers i will note that for flying all day long for racing where you're having these on your face Fat Sharks, ergonomically, comfort level wise, really are the standard. These are so much more comfortable to wear for long periods of time than these. These, especially once you start adding other things, they're already heavy. It does become a little bit heavier. So that is one downside. But if you can even count it like that, I mean, most people, I'm, getting, I'm willing to give up a little bit of comfort to be able to get this beautiful image in my eyeballs. Thanks, guys.